The topic today is silence, make the mind still and powerful. Oh, we need silence in practicing meditation because a lot, a lot of thought, a lot, a lot of things that pop up. To your mind, but how can we create silence? Let's find out. <coughs> My name is Mang Chayanon. What we try to do in practicing meditation is to still the mind, because we have two parts: the body part. You will have some getting numb somewhere, get tension somewhere. The other part. Many thought come up and pop up and disturb you. That's our problem. So, what we try to do is to give loving kindness to our body and mind, both body and mind, because. Uh, If you feel tense, move a little bit to make the tension away. If you have, particularly when you have a bad experience, when your mind getting still, it pop up. And bother you. So be kind to your body and mind. Next thing is detach yourself from past experience and let it go. Of course, almost all of us has past experiences. It keep in our mind uh, when we are busy. We don't. Pop it up. But when we practice meditation, when our mind getting still to a certain level, uh, the past experiences will pop up. Past experiences can be a bad experience, can be a good experience. If it's A good experience will make you feel pressure, a uh, uh, temporary happy. But if it's the bad bad uh, experience, it will hurt you. It will bother you. So, two things that we can handle it. One thing is to. Forgive. To forget, if we can forgive that bad experience, then 
it kind of deletes from our memory so we don't pop it up when our mind getting still uh, even good experience don't follow those good experience yes you are happy with recorded good experience but just let it go let it go don't don't uh, follow that don't analyze that. even you pretending that you happy with that good experience don't follow it just let it go let it go whatever whatever pop up to your mind let it go then still your mind still your mind is not the way to control or push that you know even people if you get control to a, a limited area we try to get away from that, from that control our minds also they don't want to be controlled Uh, don't want to be pushed to do that to to press the mind so do not control it or push it or pull it just steal your mind whatever pop up let go let go let go that's the way to free your mind for your body if you have tension somewhere uh, if you have tension somewhere your mind will pay attention to that so move your body a little bit to release those tension The other thing, never allow belief to stand in the way of truth. Uh, belief, when we cannot find the truth, we try to set up hypothesis, we try to set up theory, and if we keep consuming that theory it's become belief and when we believe in something when somebody tell you the truth you will you will be against that so uh, people have a lot of knowledge and you see those knowledge it just the sign the traffic sign to to go somewhere it's just the traffic sign not the destination our destination is the truth but along the way we going to the truth uh, belief will, will, will stand in the way of truth and try to get the out of the way to the truth
stop having the goal. Stop having the goal. Uh, many people when sit down practice meditation, uh, we expect to see something. We expect to see something, and along the way, you, the defilement try to pop up the thought, and we follow that thought. Setting the goal is kind of uh, kind of allow the divine to inject the thoughts to your mind. So stop having your goal. Just sit down and do nothing. Think of nothing. Stop. In other words, to stop thinking. Don't talk to yourself. <laughs> Don't talk to yourself. You know, when we we feel that when we sit down and practice meditation, we are alone and nobody to talk to. We tend to talk to ourselves. The way you talk to yourself is to create some thoughts. So uh, to handle it, keep reciting mantra. Sama alahang, sama alahang. The mantra will help us uh, help to to avoid our our talkative mind when we want to say something. If we want to say something, keep saying the mantra. Then be comfortable, but conscious. We got a balance between comfortable and conscious, relax, be comfortable but conscious because uh, uh, the process of practicing meditation and the process of going to sleep is the same process at, at the beginning. So when we reach a certain point then we fall asleep. So be comfortable, be relaxed. Then we gotta be conscious, keep conscious. And make it simple. Make it simple. Don't don't make it complicated. Just simple. And be free and relax and release. Don't attach with something. Now, if this is one example, if we uh, spread the syllable in a word apart. We will feel silent in the in the space. For example, uh, if we make the space in mantra wider, like a sam ma 
อาลาฮัม you know during the space in between those syllable we kind of go prepare ourselves for the next word most of the time it is silent in that space so we make a space in in mantra wider the feeling of silence will stay longer we try to make it longer eventually <coughs> sorry uh, eventually there will be only stillness and happy feeling of spacious serenity try this one i t not so bad above all above all feel rejoice feel rejoice before after and why we practice meditation because merits will result in us continuously and in abundance the result or mer- the 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 merits that we cultivated whatever we do give forgive uh, observe precept and practicing meditation we should feel rejoice rejoice before do it why we do it and after doing that feel the joy in that because uh, it the result of it will start from before why we practice and after everything don't don't miss the before and after so Rejoice in your merit. Rejoice in your merit, and you should feel joy. Rejoice in cultivating merit before, why, and after. That's it for today. Thank you, everybody, for listening. <coughs>